This portion of CardioSource Video News is supported by the makers of Zarelto. Welcome to ACC 12. I'm Dr. Randy Martin with CardioSource Video News. A very interesting late-breaking clinical trial was discussed at ACC 12, and it had to do with Seaport E. And I'm pleased to be joined now by the principal investigator, Dr. Tom Aversano, who's from Hopkins. Tom, thanks for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Thank so, you. So this is a fascinating study. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, this was a trial uh, to compare the outcomes of non-primary or non-emergency uh, angioplasty when it's performed at hospitals with or without on-site cardiac surgery. So historically, as you know, the co-location of cardiac surgery and angioplasty has been thought to be important right. because of the potential need right. for emergency surgery in the event of a complication of the angioplasty procedure. But recently it's been shown that the, probably the need for emergency surgery is not so great. This is the first randomized trial which looks at not just emergency surgery requirements, but various forms of outcomes. Look at outcomes. In, right, in patients who are treated with or without, at hospitals with or without on-site cardiac surgery. How, it's, how big was the study, Tom? There were 60 uh, participating sites. These were all community hospitals without on-site cardiac surgery. A total of over 18,000 patients were Sorry. randomized. Uh, the randomization was asymmetric in the sense that uh, for every four patients who required angioplasty, three stayed at the hospital without on-site cardiac surgery and one was randomized out. And the purpose of that was to try to maintain an adequate volume sure. at the hospitals without on-site cardiac surgery. And the, the obvious, so it's a, it's a well-designed trial. So what did you all find? We looked at two primary outcomes. The first was a so-called safety outcome. This was mortality six weeks after the index, infarction, after the index right. angioplasty. And then we looked at a major adverse cardiac event composite outcome at nine months, considered to be an efficacy endpoint or quality endpoint. For the safety outcome at six weeks, the mortality was not different. Right. And the study was shown to be, the outcome was shown to be non-inferior <clears throat> at the hospitals without on-site cardiac surgery. And we had the same uh, outcome for the MACE, the nine-month MACE. The MACE, parenthetically, was the composite of death, Q-wave myocardial infarction, and target vessel revascularization. So revascularization. Yes, and so in both, uh, the, both primary outcomes, short-term, long-term, safety and quality, uh, the outcomes at the hospitals without on-site cardiac surgery were non-inferior. And Tom, were these the same operators at both sites, or does that vary, obviously, depending upon the... It varied. Uh, so in the more rural sites, often that was the, the, those were the interventionalists who did the procedure, and they didn't typically go to a ter another tertiary hospital. <clears throat> in closer in suburban or urban environments, usually the operators uh, performed intervention right. at both types of sites. So you had good outcomes as far as safety and the efficacy of it. You know, hey, the, the question I think everybody would want to know is, how is this data, should it be applied in our practices? Well, I think we have to go back to recall that the primary purpose of this project was to try to understand whether healthcare regulators who are responsible for uh, you know, geographically locating these, uh, these, uh, this, this capacity for angioplasty can use this as a possible tool. And I think that the outcome of the study says yes, angioplasty without on-site cardiac surgery is safe and effective. It's a tool. The outcome of the study shouldn't be meant, shouldn't be taken as, well, let's expand let's, angioplasty let's everywhere. Let's open up. Everybody get a lab, right? Correct. Okay. Well, that, so that, but that's very, very important. And I think, uh, you know, it's an outstanding trial. Thank you very much for presenting it to us thank and you. for looking into it. And thank you all for joining us. We want you to stay tuned because we'll have much more good information for you from ACC 12.